In question 13 of this exercise, we have to find the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8. So let's write the first few multiples of 8 and analyze the series of numbers that we get. So the first multiple of 8 is 8, 8 itself. Then we have 16, then we have 24, then we have 32 and so on. So this is clearly an arithmetic progression in which the first term is 8 and the common difference is also 8. And we have to find the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 or the first 15 terms of this progression. So there are two ways we could do this. Uh, one is we could directly apply the sum formula onto this progression. So the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is given by Sn is equal to n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So we could apply this formula and get the sum. So let's do that first. So we have to find S15, the sum of the first 15 terms. So this will be equal to 15 by 2 into 2a. So 2 into 8 plus n minus 1. So n is 15. So n minus 1 is 14. 14 into d. d is 8. So 14 into 8. So we will get 15 by 2 times 2 into 8 is 16. 14 into 8 is 112. So this is what we get. So this is equal to 15 by 2 into 16 plus 112. 112 plus 16 is 128. So 15 by 2 into 128 or 15 into we uh, divide 128 by 2. So we get 64. So 15 into 64. And this product 15 into 64 is equal to 960. So the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 is equal to 960. So this is our answer. Now a slightly different way to find the same sum. Uh, so let's write this sum as 8 plus 16 plus 24 uh, and up, up to 15 terms. So a slightly different way to find the same sum could have been to take out a common factor of 8 from this uh, sum. So 8 we take 8 out and then we will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to 15 so 15 terms inside the square uh, inside the bracket so basically the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 can be expressed as 8 into the sum of the first 15 natural numbers and now we can apply the formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers so that's n into n plus 1 by 2 so in this case it will be 8 into the sum of the first 15 natural numbers will be 15 into 15 plus 1 or 16 by 2. So this is what we will get. So 8 into 15 and this gives 16 by 2 gives 8. So 15 into 8. So we once again get 15 into 64. 8 into 8, 64. So once again, we will get 960. So this is a slightly different way of finding the same sum. Regardless, in either case, we get the answer as 960. So the sum of the first 15 multiples of 8 is 960. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.